Last season I did a, uh, an article for the Fisherman magazine using giant tennis ball sized floats, bunker and bass. Um, it was a highly effective article. It's been a highly effective technique for me. But I say a highly effective article because it generated a lot of interest. A lot of people emailed me. They came to shows literally with the magazine in their hands um, wanting to know more. I remember at the one show uh, we were supposed to talk about a specific topic and everybody in the audience except for like three people wanted to know more about the bobbers. So we did a bobber segment. Um, I'm going to kind of get into this a little bit so you can kind of still use it this spring. Um, last year I was forced to use this bobber right here. It was the only one I could find large enough to hold four ounces of egg weight in addition to a live bunker. Um, this was a great system for me last year. Unfortunately the bobber slid and it required me to put some sort of bobber stop or I used a Dacron line with a uni knot above the bobber to stop it at my depth. Um, it worked. However, over the winter, I came across a company called Ready Rig Tackle, and they have the same size float, but more importantly, it's a slip float that's pegged. I can very quickly and efficiently move the bobber up and down the line. I can put the two stoppers here, put the line in between the two stoppers, and the beautiful part is there's a snap here at the top, and my line gets fixed through that snap and the bobber stays intact. When the fish hits it, the plungers you know, break free of the line and the bobber slides up and down the line. There's no more guesswork. It's simple and easy. This is what it looks like. If I can just get it off here. Essentially, I shortened up the version but you can see how that's attached to the line. My rig is as follows. I like 30 pound monofilament leader. I'm running gamma copolymer. I, I place the bobber on after I deploy my system. I'm running a four ounce egg weight. Premium swivel to four to six feet of 40 pound, 50 pound, 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. I have been known to drop down to 20 pound as well. And prerequisite is a circle hook. When I used the J hook, every time we'd go to set up on the fish and set the hook, we would lose just about every fish. As soon as I switched over to circle hooks, my hookup ratio shot through the roof. So basically as that fish is taking the bobber out and taken off, and it's time to strike, we just flip the lever, start cranking, and the fish is hooked up. The displacement of the bobber does not interfere with the circle hook set where it does with the J-hook. So essentially what I'm going to do when I'm deploying this system is I'm going to drop it down 20 feet, 18 feet, 15 feet. Uh, if I'm fishing over 60 feet, I might put a bobber down at 35 feet. Once I get to, the, to the, the depth of choice, I basically very simply and easily just place the line inside the two rubber stops and attach it through the swivel. When the fish hits, pops free, the bobber's running up and down the line. That is essentially the Ready Rig float system that I've been using for striped bass, bunker, and, uh, and, and basically live lining over super deep water. Um, the great thing about Ready Rig is he sells shark floats, and I intend to use these floats for tuna chunking down in Cape May in July.